Welcome to the Bristol Motor Speedway, aka Thunder Valley, for the running of the Luke Bryan 400. A beautiful evening for racing. This is a tough place to win, but it's also a tougher place to get a ticket. Every single one of these seats in this entire facility is this entire facility is filled to the brim with people. Even the infields are packed. They've been waiting here all week. And they're going to see some hard-nosed short track racing tonight. But let's go to Pit Road for an interview with our pole sitter, Dylan Merlet. And while I do have him check before I responded. Damn, this is so hard. I'll check it later. Um, Dylan Burwell, your that that's what the car was really good on the bottom. Do you think your car can win tonight? Be all right for going out front tonight? Yeah, I believe the Rouse guys have been really working feverishly all throughout the preparation for this race, and I think it'll pay off tonight. Let's send down to the other end of the field with points leader DJ Harris. DJ. So DJ, your car was um really tight. Do you think your um, car is much of a threat tonight? Yeah, I believe so. Our low Chevrolet um, scraped the wall in qualifying, so we're kind of down in the shit, pretty much. And, yeah. We're going to have to fight our way through traffic using our old bumper, but we're going to try not to tear up this beautiful paint job of our white low Chevrolet. Thank you. Let's send it upstairs to get Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. All the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air. Let's go down to the starting grid. By the way, this race will be 12 laps. Dylan Murway is on the pole. Let's look through it, shall we? In row one, we have the Zest Zest Blue Queen Ford and the Outback Steakhouse Chevrolet. Row two, we have the 5-Hour Energy Toyota in the two-car. Row three finds the Motocraft Ford in the Drive to End Hunger Chevrolet. Row four finds the Target Chevrolet, finds both rookies, the Target Chevrolet and the Bass Pro Shops Patriotic Chevrolet. Row five finds the regular Bass Pro Shop Chevrolet by Joseph Lombard and Kyle Thomas, who will round out your top ten. Row six, we have Jessica Shelton in the 56 car and the 29 car. Row seven, we have the Dollar General Toyota and the GoDaddy Chevrolet. Row eight, we have the Napa Toyota and the Diet Mountain Dew Chevrolet. Row nine, we have the 3M Ford and the Pennzoil Ford. Row 10, we have the Lowe Chevrolet and the Gene Haas Chevrolet. Row 11, we have the Time Warner Cable Chevrolet and the 33 car. Row 12, we have the FedEx Express Toyota and the Aflac Chevrolet. Row 13, we have the Smithfield Helping Hungry Homes Ford and the Menard Chevrolet. Um, row 14, we have the UPS car and the 31 car. Row 15, last week's winner will start 29th in the one car. We'll st line up next to him. Row 16, we, ha we have the Furniture Row Chevrolet and the Random Field Pillar car I decided to throw in for this series. And rounding out the field, we have the 9 car. So it's going to be 12 quick laps. Of course, it's going to be crazy with some of these, some of the carnage that we'll see. And they're going to off turn 4. The fans are on their feet. 
What will they see? Will they see a snooze fest like when Bruton Smith converted this track, or will we see a thriller? Dylan Murway, Mark Schroeder are going to bring them down for the start. Sixteen seconds a lap. Lap one is already complete. Mark Schroeder is um, currently got the lead, and oh, we got some pushing and shoving already. We got the five car of Hunter Miller got shoved way out to the apron after contact with the thirty-three. It looks like. And ignore the head PE music, folks, but we got a battle for the lead. Dylan Murway put the bumper to Mark Schroeder on lap number two on the back straightaway. And here we go. And got Spinner, turn four. It's Brendan Little. Caution is out, caution is out, caution is out, caution is out. Whoa, please don't slide down to the middle of the track. Please don't slide down to the middle of the track. Oh, yes. Whoa, that was close. That was close. Nobody hit the 15 car of Brendan Little, who was tagged out of fourth. And I don't think Brendan Little looks very happy in the car, judging by how quickly he's turning around. The first caution is out here at Bristol. And, um, oh, oh, more trouble. Under. More damage. Looks like last week's winner, Chris Washer, with a lot of damage when it was looked like from the re either from the resulting accordion from when Hunter Miller got booted, or was it when the six checked up and the seven had no place to go? But the seven has a lot of damage. But I don't think that Mr. Um, Little looks very happy. Don't you think? Hey, hey, Brendan, they're calling you on that. Brendan, stop! And they order him to stop, but he's going to be probably parked for the rest of this race. Bullshit. Bullshit. We had that fucking position. They should fucking park the 21 car for doing that. And I'm telling you what the rules are the rules. Just bring it into the pits and hold it for two laps. <laughs> well, second week in a row, we've had someone try to spin someone else out under caution. <laughs> yeah, this season's been playing rough already. Right here. So, we're going to be lining up for the lap 5 restart. Um, let me close this tab here. Um, Dylan Murway has still got the lead. And it looks like the out looked like the outside lane looked to be the place to be, judging by how big of a rush that um, Mark Schroeder in the four got. He got a great jump at the start. It looked like he was about to clear the seventeen. Seventeen was gonna about to fall in line. And oh, let's see what the twenty one ends say. I got loose off of four and really didn't mean for that to happen. Yeah, it's just racing. He'll learn. He'll get over it. If he wants to wreck us, we'll go take care of it if he wants to try to wreck us. And by the way, update on Chris Washer in the 7 car who um, backed it into the 6. The 6 has um, been on and off pit road a couple times. And yeah, he's not going to be... He's currently scored in 31st right now. Chris Washer has scored 32nd with the pit crew feverishly working on that car as we're going back to green as Dylan Murway gets a big jump. Oh, contact. Second caution is out. Dylan Murway got turned by the two car and it looked like, oh, we got more trouble. That's Jessica Selton in the 56, Alvin Alonso in the... T oh, no, no. It's saved. It looks like bump and run. looks like is, it's going to give the two car the lead off of two. <laughs> no pun there. Three wide. Some wild racing here. It looks like the 17 is going to try to get payback for Poteet's little maneuver on the restart. He, oh, he might try to stick the bumper to him. 
Gasly is trying to rack him. Hey, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. Whoa. Gasly tried racking him. Oh, this is gonna get good. Right here. Looks like Jonathan Morrison's trying to pass under the 21 of Thundersport Cup Series. And it looks like we got a lot of three wide racing further back. Points leader DJ Harris um, just put the bumper on Austin Doyle, and that almost caused Hunter, and the resulting chain reaction caused Hunter Miller to hit the apron and almost spin the car out. Already we got some heated racing up front. Watching this battle for the... Oh, Poti turn hard into the inside wall. Turn number one. Caution, 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 caution. Yep, y'all saw that coming, right? Back down in it. Oh, oh, wow. Horrific crash right here off of them in turn number one where it looks like the 42 of Tony Green pounded the two of Poti, and both of these cars have sustained a lot of damage. Wanna get to that one? Yeah, I kinda saw this coming, right? Tempers, they were actually beating on each other really, really hard. Um Yeah. And both of these drivers are okay. Tony Green does have the window net down and obviously in frustration and they're calling the seventeen for um Trying to get payback on the two because he turned him in at such an awkward angle too, as they're showing it as the red flag is out and Poti doesn't look very happy. He's going to be marching up to the 17 pit, I believe. I like to see where this is going. Um. Yeah. He, oh no, he's gonna be watching up, walking up to the 17. Poking in, and officials are trying to intercept him. I believe officials are gonna intercept him towards in turn three, and he's gonna wave him off because the man, there is a mandatory ride to the care center that all drivers have to take. Think about while we burn these caution laps, this could get big for some of these guys right here. Um, lap currently on lap seven right now. They're gonna wave the red flag because of this uh, situation that we've got, and Poti is stuck his window inside Murway's car. Hey, fuck you. Poti pulled away by a couple officials. That situation was quickly resolved, and it just earned Poti a trip to the NASCAR hauler. So, let's look at this replay. This was the restart. Oh, wow, got the 17 awfully squirrely there. He tried merging up in a line, and it stacked everybody up, and he got the bottom. And then tried racking him twice, and then... Right here, going into turn one, this, there's two things. There's payback, and there's out. There's, um, retaliation, and then there's full-on payback. He turned him head first into the inside wall. 17 cars also got a little bit of, uh, panel damage as well from when the two bounced off to him. Um, then he came down. Everyone else looked like they were trying to miss him. Kind of similar to the Brendan Little deal. An update on him. He's currently 32nd right now. Or 33rd. Yeah, 32nd. Um, four, three laps down, actually. He will earn the free pass for this caution. Yep. Just goes to show how fast tempers and fenders can fly here at Bristol. Bone jarring crash. Interviews with uh, Tony Green. Tony, you were a, you looked like you had a great car today that could run with some of the big boys. Can you t take us through what happened? I just saw the 17 
playing some games with it too, and getting him squirrely, I just saw him coming up, he hit the wall pretty hard, and he, once he came, started rolling down the track, I'm, I thought, oh, we'll cheap on him, and then I just hit him hard, I hope he's okay, because he did take a really hard lift, sucks for Atari guys, but we'll get him next week, and Poti has declined an interview with um, us, so we'll be going back racing. And here's the mid-race reports presented by Pizza Hut. It's a damn fine pizza place. Who are you putting your money on? Dylan my way. Like, like he said this when he was in, in the start in the interview, say he wasn't gonna fuck around at a short track. That he was gonna take no shit. And boy, he's delivered. He's currently actually on the inside of the restart. He's got Jacob two behind him, but. Will he move him out of the group, or will he stay right behind him? Bill, I'm putting my money on Mark Schroeder. Bristol typically has been a one-groove racetrack, but Mark Schroeder has learned from other dirt track stars like Kyle Larson, and he has learned to use the top groove to get around here at Bristol. He looks to be the winner tonight. And we start 10 on lap number 10, three laps to go. Jacob Tube tries going three wide for the lead. He's got some help from Jonathan Morrison coming off the two. But it looks like it's a big multi-car gaggle right here. Looks like he's got the position. Look at Morrison. He looks like he's trying to push him. Or he's looking to either get him, A, get him moved out of the groove, or B, just try to move him out of the way. But I would say move him out of the groove because 17 is right there. Um, yeah. 11 laps to go, 2 to go, 3 wide for the lead. But where's the 21 come from? He's been working quietly all race long. Now he's up in the mix with these 5 guys. This is a recipe for a 5 car wreck. Holy shit. Look at this. Morrison on the bottom. He clears it. He clears them. They're 3 wide. Murway holds, decides to fall back in the line. Fall back. By the but he's got company from Kyle C Thomas and in the form of Kyle Thomas and Joseph Lombard. In the meantime, there's got there's actually a lot of guys beating and banging further back. We just reported that one car did spin on the apron, has um gotten it refired. It is uh, the 99 of Isaiah Williams. He got hooked by the 33. And he has a flat tire. He's currently working on it. But they're coming to the white flag lap. Morrison and Thundersport Cup Series. They're battling it out. Morrison leaves the gap. Into three for the turn number three for the final time. Morrison to block. Oh, he charged him. Jonathan Morrison gets turned off at turn number four. Thundersport Cup Series is going to come off of four and win tonight's Luke Bryan 400 at Bristol. Lots of cars crashing and colliding behind them. Looks like Joseph Lombard got ran into the three. A lot of damage to his car. Jacob Tube gets second. Murway third. Kyle Thomas fourth. Schroeder fifth. Joseph Lombard is keeping the shower of smoke and flames will be scored in in eleven. Morrison went from almost winning here at Bristol all the way to twelve. What a damn shame. Harris will be scored thirteenth after a plain bump and run by Austin Doyle, who's turned into a bump and spin. Spin off of four is Austin Doyle is end of the wall pretty hard. And there are guys, lots of guys, looking for a win here in Bristol. Wow. Out of nowhere, started fifth, Thundersport Cup Series, driving the 21 for Wood Brothers Racing, 
is going to go to victory lane tonight. And son, yeah, this was inevitable. Post race fireworks looks like um between I can't tell. Looks like Hunter Miller and Dylan Young, I believe, are in a little bit of post race fireworks. Could it possibly have been about this restart that Chich the five out of the groove after lots of scoring and flipping? Wow, the master of consistency has prevailed and has returned. Tommy or Thomas Ziegler, aka the owner of the Thunder Sport Cup Series. Related to Tommy Zigel in the 41 is going to do the burnouts here in Thunder Valley tonight. Burn him down soon. You earned it. And we're looking on the situation here on Pitt Road. Um, <laughs> yep, and they're going to be doing the burnouts tonight. Looks like Hunter Miller not very happy with 27 car there, maybe. Might have a talk with him. I believe he wants to have a conversation and have it right now. And oh, officials there to stand guard, and and so our crew members there content to let these two drivers talk their out their differences. And he also noticed um, Young hasn't taken his helmet off. And just like that, again, tempers will fly here at Bristol. Just hope you're out of the beehive. We'll get interviews with these drivers later, but we will have gone to victory lane. Is Thunder Sport Cup Series. Congratulations, buddy. You are the winner here at Bristol, and now you've punched your ticket into the chase for the South Park Sprint Cup. And meanwhile, let's um, take a look at the unofficial results. The winner of today's race is Thunder Sport Cup Series. Second is Jacob Tube. Third is Dylan Merwitz. Fourth is Kyle Thomas. Fifth is Mark Schroeder. Sixth is Devin Messner. Seventh is Jessica Shelton. Eighth is Steven Gonzalez. Ninth is Alvin Alonso. And tenth is What If Racing. Eleventh is Joseph Lombard. Twelfth is Jonathan Morrison, who is, by the way, um... Got some choice words for went almost from winning this race to t picking up his second win of the season to 12th. And Phil or Ben Goldberg is 13th. DJ Harris 14th. Kevin Fuller 15th. Tommy Ziegler 16th. Dylan Young and Hunter Miller are currently scored 17th and 18th. Philip Goldberg 19th. Alex Wheeler 20th. Blowover King 21st. Caleb Hoffman 22nd. Minecraft is the Beast, 23rd. Montana Pinella is 24th. Matthew Powell has made his way to 25th. Austin Doyle has scored in 26th. Zachary Lombard, 27th. Chris Washer, last week's winner, is 28th. Random Field Filler Car is 29th. And Brendan Little will round out the top 30. Isaiah Williams ended up 31st, five laps down. Tony Green and Dylan Petit were the only drivers out. And let's get some interviews with Hunter Miller. Hunter, I'm standing by. I'm standing by with Hunter Miller and his team owner Rick Hendrick, and they're kind of talking this thing out. And what are your thoughts on this? Well, damn twenty seven, damn twenty seven will give me fucking room. So he just runs me up the track and tries to spin me on the cooldown lap. I go over to talk to him, and he starts talking like a little bitch. He won't be coming along. I'll find him. And let's hear from Dylan Young before we sign off. Young, Dylan, your car was pretty good today. Um, can you tell us about this thing in the five? 
he was just racing and so I'm trying to explain that I got tied and here he is come yelling at me he just runs into the back of my car and he gets out and he starts screaming at me like are you serious you're in the big boy leagues like what what's the point but Armanite's car was good show, good today um, we got Talladega next week so that's um, up next that's going to be a pretty fun race and yeah and this is going to be the sign off by the way, if you enjoyed this race, like this video. Every like means a lot. Comment on this video if you want to. And subscribe to the big mama jama named Dylan Murway. And for the final time, this is Dylan Murway signing out. And the Martinsville race was incredibly badass Yes, on Sunday. Where Denny Hamlin won.